Hello, and welcome to today's show. Yes, welcome. As you may see, we have gotten a letter today. Well, who is it from? I shall read it. All right. Oh, how <coughs> exciting. Ahem. <coughs> Dear Mrs. Robinson and Mrs. Rock, me and my friends, oh, my friends and I. Oh, what bad grammar. Precisely. My friends and I have been wondering, how do chickens reproduce, or as you may say, have, woohoo. Thank you for accepting my letter. Sincerely, William. Well, oh, William. Oh, Bill. Well, William, it seems we have a very good question here. <coughs> yes, we do. A lot of people wonder about this same topic, and I'm very sure you're glad to learn about it today. Precisely. So, we will not only give the facts about it, but we will also give our own theory about it. And include a special treat for you, which you will see later. Precisely. professionals and we have done our research. So, before we decided we should hop on the old internet to see what we could find. This is what we found. On the eighth day of being fertile, the beginning of feathers began. <clears throat> and then on the tenth day, the beginning of the hardening of the beak. On the thirteenth day, the appearance of scales and claws. Aha! And then, on the 14th day, the embryo gets into the position suitable for breaking shell. On the 16th day, scales, claws, and beak become firm, and as you teenage hipsters say, horny. Precisely. And then, on the following 17th day, the beak turns toward the air cell. On the 19th day, the yolk sac begins to enter the body cavity. Aha! And then, on the 20th day, the yolk sac completely drawn into the body cavity. Embryo occurs practically all the space within the egg except the air cell. And then, on the 21st day, the, the hatching, hatching of, of the, the chick. chick. See? There you have it. That is how the egg is born. And don't go away yet. We have a demonstration. That's your special treat right there. All right. So, the way chickens have hoo-hoo is... Okay, we will demonstrate. This is our theory, by the way. Oh. Mm -hmm. It is copyrighted. Yes. As of right now. I shall put the bottle on to because Mrs. Robinson will be demonstrating the male chicken's part in the reproduction. <laughs> yes, I will. This handkerchief Oop. This handkerchief is what you would call the wattle of the chicken. Wattle. That wattle. Same difference. And yes. That would be what you are familiar with, with the little hangy downy red thing that you would see on male chickens or roosters. All right, now we shall demonstrate it. I, my fingers, or my hand, will be demonstrating the vaginal part of the chicken. And as you can see, the male chicken, very nice, will begin to beat the wattle through the, the, or the chicken's vaginal area. Kadoog, kadoog, kadoog. Exactly. And it keeps doing that. And you're probably wondering, how does the sperm get deposited? Well, the female 
little chicken will, its vagina can be very, very tough. And so it begins to grab it. <laughs> oh, this is a tough one. Oh, and it pulls it apart. And now that is how the sperm is deposited. Thank you for joining us today on this fine evening. Yes, now you can go home and say you really know how chickens reproduce. Thank you.